Kentucky Craft Bash Beer Festival is returning to the waterfront. It's happening next weekend. Yeah, it features over 50 breweries from across the Commonwealth, giving you a chance to try beers from places you may not normally get the chance to visit. So Jim is joining us live this morning from Flying Axes Gym, which is one of the vendors for the event. And the, uh, the excitement is brewing, is it not? That's a terrible pun, Grace. Absolutely horrible. But I'm going to forgive you because we're talking about Craft Bash. And we know what are a couple of the things that Jim loves to talk about in the mornings. Beer is always up there. So, of course, I'm joined by Katie Mulk from the Guild of Brewers. I'm joined by Jessica Votard from uh, Pivot Brewing. Let's start with you, Katie, because we're talking Craft Bash. We're still a little bit away, but it's always good to start preparing people for it. June 29th is when Craft Bash is happening. That's right. So, I think effectively less than two weeks away, yes. maybe around two weeks away. It's at the waterfront. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the seventh year we're hosting it. It is Kentucky's only Kentucky brewer only craft beer fest. So, over 60 brewers are going to join us on the waterfront. I just released the beer list yesterday. Okay. I see a lot of Mexican lagers, pina coladas, sours, all that good stuff in everyone's future. So plenty of things for people to try if they haven't tried any of those kind of more out there, non-traditional types of beers. Yeah, even so non-traditional that we actually have sake as well from <laughs> okay. Kentucky's only sake brewery, which is the Void in Lexington, as well as cider from Pivot and other uh, cideries like Wisebird, uh, as well as seltzers too. So there's just a wide array of, of uh, offerings. There we go. Now let's pivot over to Jessica <laughs> from Pivot. I'm sorry, I had to right there. Uh, Jessica, we've got a wide selection of beers that you all are going to be bringing to Craft Bash. Talk to me a little bit about what you all are going to have out there on June 29th. Sure. We will have not only beer, but we'll have cider as well. So we're bringing a selection of two beers, two ciders. We've got our flight test number two. It's the second in a rotating series with mm -hmm. some artisanal hops. It's a hazy New England IPA. We know people love IPAs oh, here in Louisville. Yes, they do. And we've yes, got our do. Carl's Blonde Ale, which you can see poured there. Carl's Blonde's nice, light, and refreshing. And we have two ciders as well. We have our Yes Queen. Mm -hmm. You've got to say it right. Okay. It's Starfruit Kiwi that benefits the Pride Foundation with a portion of sales from each cider. And we also, last but not least, we're going to have Thistle, which is a ginger raspberry easy drinking cider from Kentucky's only solar powered cidery. There we go. So plenty to try. It's coming up on June 29th. Grace, I had to raise you my pun out there but we'll be back with more coming up a little bit later here on GMK.